So hi everyone, and let's let's check out uh, today a problem that we'll, you guys will all have. And that's something you need to um, to use um, uh, special tools for it. You gotta basically paint, uh, adjust the skin basically of your character, um, onto which it stuck to it, you know, to the bones, the joints, you know, better basically. Because certain points sometimes, like right here, you know, there's, a, there's a lot of things that needs to be done right here. If you look at that right here. Okay, first of all, we have a point right here that is moving with a foot that shouldn't be moving. All right, so that needs to be adjusted. Okay, and we have points that stay behind. All right, you see those? That's kind of a mess right around here. Okay, um, and the problem with that, in reality, it's because we have what's called some stray vertices. All right, stray vertices are basically vertices that actually uh, vertex that have not attached properly. Oops. Right here, right? And I'm not attached properly to um, to the bone. All right, uh, they just don't know where to attach them. Let me reopen that now that I messed it up, but uh, to fix it. Um, and basically, because they are not attached to um, to anything properly, they might be attached to the wrong joint, or uh, they might be not have enough power on that on that joint and stuff. So you need to fix it. There's two ways to fix it. You can uh, fix it using the paint tool. So you select, you go into uh, animation, and you go into skin, edit smooth skin, and you select paint skin weight tool right here. Okay. Now you have to have your mesh selected to do that. All right. And now if you double click on the icon for that, you can see all the joints one after the other. That's why it's super important that you actually name your joints properly. All right. Uh, and because you'll see some weird stuff, it, it, what happened is that it's not because it is, you know, black is not attracted by that joint, obviously, and white is attracted by that joint, okay? And it's not because it looks black in the viewport that it, it is actually 100% black, all uh, right? It's kind of a, one of those trickery. So painting it works okay, and you basically, um, uh, you make it black or white, depending if you want it to attract that joint or not. You have the brush right there. All right, you guys. Um, and say for joint two right here, that's the one giving us problem a little bit. Uh, it's okay. You can see behind it, it's not perfectly painted white as it should be. So you just, <coughs> you could just, you know, simply add a little bit of white. So that's the pen brush right here. Replace. We're gonna replace. Uh, you know, or we can add if we want to. And the value one is white, and zero is uh, basically. Um, uh, black you can change the radius or size right there or you can click on D and drag your mouse to do that uh, We can do it switch it a little bit right here Just to see if it helps us it might not help us very much. I doubt it does um, And if it doesn't help you Very much the way you want <coughs> What you need to do sorry, you know is to use another technique to adjust that Okay, so what you do is that you select the joint where you have problem and you actually move it Orthographically, all right, to show the problem. Did I fix it? No. Good. Okay. Let's have shading, uh, wireframe on shaded, so we can see every point and what's the problem. All right. So we obviously have a point in reality right here inside. Yeah, those are weird right there. All right, this is weird right there around here, okay? Um, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually um, right click on the mesh, so select the mesh, I mean, not the bones, right click on it, go to vertex, and select those vertices uh, that are weird. Those four right there, oops, sorry. Oh yeah, I got, if you have the skeleton, if it's not on the layer, it will always select the skeleton. So select your skeleton, put it on a layer, and make it invisible for now. So we can select our vertices easy like that. All right, right here. And you select those four right there. The tricky one, you look at them. Let me get your, your, your rig back. Um, and you know that's joint two they need to be attracted to. We looked at that by clicking on it. So you need to rename your stuff. You go to window, general editor 
and component editor the first one you click right there and you have a window that appears called the component editor windows and there's a lot of things that can be on it and very often it could be smaller like that so you don't see some little menu on the right side so you have to click to see the other menus and make it bigger it, it is important because the menu you're going to use is smooth binding right here smooth skin right there so you need to click on it and as you can see you can see the four vertices numbered all right and which join they are attracted to and as you can see they're not attracted 45 especially only to joint one it goes from zero to one all right and um, it, those ones seems that they haven't been attracted properly everywhere sometimes especially when it's a really low poly it shouldn't be attracted by multiple joints so you can go you know and make that you know um, zero you know everywhere beside that one where you put it one all right so now you got a total joint like that if you look at it now that should be readjusted you see how it readjusted it itself now it's it's perfect in the back uh, for that so that's the component uh, editor window and and that's the way you adjust everything when they get to be stray and rebellious all right because it will happen all right and now uh, it will work much better now all right all right you see uh, you want to make sure um you know you might give a little bit of fall off sometime in those ones all right so they move a little bit with the rest uh, that's you to decide now that one it's still a stray and it's still moving and the foot look at the foot you have the left foot the right foot right there so you got to do a better cleaning my friend uh, on that one and so um i will give a good sample for that uh, right now so now let me put the rig out uh, actually no not out and let's see what it is and those are that's the end of the foot that's joint 21 rename 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 um, so now I'm going to select my mesh uh, apply the scan painting tool and um, and we go to joint 21 right here all right and I'm going to paint it fully white to make sure nothing gets tricked out and oops I'm gonna go under it, make it small. See, um, but frankly, I know it's 21, and it needs to go with 21. So let's test it first, because I might have fixed it. All right, and um, let's look at that and um, see if it works. All right. Well, it does did better, but it's still um, not actually working perfectly. So let's adjust. Um, like we did earlier by selecting that we still know it's 21 and that's the one right around here so we go to vertex we select our vertices it will take all of them actually you know, right here okay go to window general editor component editor right here go to smooth skin and make sure it's join 21 that's got it so you can see it's got a couple strays you know John 5 is from probably from the other side so that's you know uh, that's pretty crazy so john 21 uh you know and we'll put uh one everywhere like that all right and um and now you'll see it'll work fine this is the the best way and really the ultimate way to actually adjust uh your skinning see now it's working perfectly uh that foot is not moving anymore okay that's the uh, that's it, you guys. So the paint tool for uh, you know making sure everything is probably set up because it's fairly tedious to do point by point, and to the for the walls and then to finish it up, uh, you know you go point by point uh, adjusting properly and you can have a good fall off if you need to with more intense mesh by having fall off uh, on the numbers you know and selecting all the proper bonds. Okay, that's it.